Hey guys, welcome back. Bodie 101 here, and we're back in the world of Infinity. Picking up just where we left off. Still waiting for our grinder to do stuff. Now, there is another route that I can kind of do with this, but I kind of want to do it this way. So, All right, so we're going to continue on with what we're working on. We're going to try and see if we can make this stupid chunk loader thing. How did I go this way? And... Um, these should be done now. They are perfect. Okay. But uh, anyway, yeah. So, hope you guys are doing well. So, I don't want to mind making chunk loader. Chunk loader. All right. So, we need to make one of these. Do I not have Enderium? Crap. Um, oh, i got to make two Tesseracts, too. Okay, forget the chunk loader. We're going to do this a different way. So, anyway, so hope you guys are doing great this fine day. I am doing wonderful. If you guys have, hear any weird noises in the back, they're doing weird construction near my apartment. So, yeah, there's that. Now, what I could do is I could actually set the grinder up to grind up these little guys. And it should do the same thing. So... Oh, wait. Oh, there was essence in there. There just wasn't much. Oh, it was working. Okay. Well, poop. All right. Let's, uh, let's put it back. All right. Maybe we'll just work on something else while this does its thing. Yeah, okay. So the, the, the pipes are have the stuff in them. All right. Now, did I mess up the internal and out of this? Let's see real quick. Uh, no, looks like it should still be good. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're just going to have to wait on this one a little bit. So, we'll see if there's anything else we can work on. You know, we could just, you know what we could do? Let's get all this junk out of the way. Okay, and I got a bunch of weird food on me. Let's do this. Let's just do this. Because the thing is, with the slimes, I, I just, all I need is enough to get the uh, slime balls. And I'm not really that scared of the slimes. All right, get the, get, get the juice in there. Why is this acting goofy? All right. Give me the juice. I can see you in there. Come out. Apparently, I need to be far enough away again. All right, we'll get the juice in there. We'll get these little pink guys spawning. Because basically, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to let that fill up. And we're going to start, we're going to come over here and we're going to start making all the other parts except for the pink slime crystals that we're going to need for the machine we're going to do. Because there's going to be some work we need to do with this. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get this food out of our inventory. Actually, kind of clean a couple of things up here that we don't need on us right now get rid of those okay so um let's look up laser so the laser drill uh let's see so we got the stuff in the bottom so we need two of these okay and then we're gonna need two of these uh, so we just need to get glowstone in here. It takes only 500 millibuckets, so that should be pretty easy. So we need to make two of these. Oh, what am I missing? Uh, 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 I am missing... Ooh, I gotta make this. Okay. Alright, not fun. Um, copper, silver, redstone. Let's grab some of that stuff. Copper. Plenty. And silver. Plenty. And hopefully redstone plenty. Redstone plenty. Okay. What are these? Oh, yeah. My generators. All right. So let's head up here and let's get all of this cooking in here. So copper, silver, and redstone. <clears throat> and I'll make, I'll just let this cook through. I don't need a ton of it. But let's get that first set. 
And then we are going to have to melt down some glowstone. Perfect. Oh, okay. There we go. This is a really good material to use in Tinkers, too, so we have to mess with that pretty soon. So, All right, so there's that. We take two of these. Perfect. And then we need some glowstone, which we don't have a ton, but we should technically only need 10, I believe. We'll leave the rest of this on us. Uh, let's see. Okay, so 10... Nope, wrong way. Up here. Ten of these should make... Oh, actually, no. We're not even going to need that many. Alright, how much is that? We actually only need one more. Alright, there we go. You take that. Now, we may need to make more of these, but I'm just saying for right now. This should be enough. Perfect. Okay, so let's head down here. And pop these in, type in laser, and boom, there we go, we got our laser drill. That's actually the easier part. Now we're going to need four of these, so let's just kind of see real quick. Um, Alright, so that means we're going to need eight of these, so we'll make those up real quick. Alright. Alright. And we're going to need four more of these. Wait. Yeah, it's one per, so we need four. Okay. Which means we're going to need, what is it, uh, two per. So two, four, six, eight. Eight should do us. Should be enough. All right. So let's throw these in here. All right. There goes the first one. Was the second one. Let's see if my math was right. I think it was. There goes the third one. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. So we should, in theory, now have all the parts for this. Now, where to hook this up? That is the question. That is the question. Do I have any tesseracts? That's the biggest question. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't have any made up, so. All right, so the ease, okay, so basically the way this mining drill works is um, it shoots at bedrock, and it has to have a straight line of sight to bedrock, okay? And it basically just harvests stuff straight out of the bedrock, okay? Pretty simple. Um, and let me, you know what? We might actually get lucky over here. Um, yeah, so it shoots it, you know, basically straight at the bedrock, and there we go. This should technically, all right, let's, this should lead straight down to bedrock, if I'm not mistaken, because that's where our quarry was. Anyways, but depending on what lenses you have in, is what material it'll pull out. Um, I think there's certain material it'll pull regardless, but um, let's actually grab some dirt, some deer tay, and but yeah, um, but I but certain things like I'm pretty sure like you need like the yellow lens for to get the Eulorium, um, you know, it, it kind of makes sense from what I understand. It's like the, you need the red lens for maybe, you know, this or that or another thing. All right, I want to make this water go away. How far down does this go? Okay, this place is super scary. All right, just want to make sure. I don't know if the water is negatively affects it, so... Just want to make sure we're getting all the way down to bedrock, which we are. Okay, perfect. And yes, my jetpack is working underwater because that makes 100%. Oh, come on, get to the top. Get to the top. I need, I need, oh, life, sweet air. Okay, we're good. All right. I thought I was going to block off the water. I don't think I'm going to, so. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to set up this laser... 
right here. Okay, let's actually kind of light up this area a little bit. Just, I'm gonna sleep here in a second, but I just wanna, just in case, you know. All right, let's uh, let's grab our sleeping bag and let's uh, do a little bit of impromptu camping. And there we go, perfect. Okay. So, and then let's kind of just clear some of this stuff around it away. Uh, probably want to go something like this, and then we'll kind of fill this in a little bit. All right, so we got two blocks there, two blocks there, two blocks there, and two blocks there. We'll just throw down one of these here. Okay, so we're just, we're getting prepped while we're waiting for the stupid bob grinder. Let's actually go check on that real quick. So, we've been some distance away. It should be working. For right now, the mob spawner, like I said, I'm not scared of the pink slimes. They really can't do, you know, especially the little ones really can't do much of any damage. So I'm not too concerned with them. Uh, let's actually see. God, this is not working. What the deuce is going on? Obviously killed a couple of zombies. And, and I, I don't, I know that, like, generally they say, you know, you want to be 32 blocks away for something to spawn, but then how far away are you before the chunks stop loading in? And at that point, then nothing should spawn in those chunks. So I just don't want to have to stand in, like, one particular block. That would be annoying. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to get this 100% set up. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves, we'll just grab ourselves, uh, you know, I don't think these are going to work. Uh, we'll try and do this the best we can. Basically, we're going to need to run power to the four pre-chargers, which is what actually gives this thing its power. So we're going to want to come out of here, like so. And basically go here is going to be the first one. We're definitely going to have to make more of these. And then... We come out like this. Now we go to the second one. So we, we need to make some more of those. And what, which ones are these? These are the enhanced energy conduits. So, so this thing should, I mean, I think it might eat a bunch of power, but at the same time, it should get us quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what we need for the enhanced energy conduits. I wanted to really try and get this done this episode. Um, there's another route I could go for this. Oh, cool. That should be enough. Um, there's definitely another route I could use using the cows to get the, the mob. Because it doesn't have to be hostile mobs, I don't think, unless I changed it. But the cows just take so long to, to reproduce. Okay, so we'll go like that. We're going to kind of do the same thing here. We're kind of making a weird little power cage here. Go like that. And we'll come around. actually don't need this one. We'll save on that. So we'll come out like so. The next one should be here. And uh, there we go. So this should be the frame. And then what we'll probably do is run item conduits from it out to bring this stuff in. But all right, let's go take one final little check now. I think somebody had said something. I don't know if we can use liquid XP in this thing. I always thought it had to be like mob essence specifically. And let's actually, because we need what? Nine, 18, see there's so much pink slime in here, but all right, we sub zero essence actually in here. Let's, uh, and I don't think this has killed anything. I, oh, wait. I've got a skeleton. And it's obviously... It's obviously doing its job. It just must be kind of the grindy time, so... I just want to make little little, little babies. Little little baby pink slimes that I can attack. All right. Let's just, let's just try something here. Let's just try something. Let's go get a, bu a bucket of liquid XP, which... I don't know if that works in replace a mob essence. We'll, we'll, we'll test it here. Because I think someone had said in the comments that we could, but 
I don't remember this ever working, but on the other hand, I don't really honestly remember ever trying. All right, can I just put this in here? Apparently not. All right, let's try one more thing. We have 22 experience on us. I mean, basically, I guess if it goes inside the machine, it'll work. So let's go grab um, a tank and um, some conduits, some liquid conduits. All right, let's grab these. Let's grab a tank. And then let's go ahead and grab the thing off of here. And if this works, I'll just take this essence. Just take it right over here. Let's grab this bad boy off. All right. And we'll go hook this up to it and see if this will actually take this stuff. Mm -mm -mm, let me check. Okay, still nothing in there. Yeah, see, it specifically says essence. I don't think it's going to work. That's an annoying sound. All right, so insert and yeah, I, 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 can't, I don't think this is going to work uh, extract without a signal and then we'll throw this on here we'll get up here and yeah it's not actually going in Give me my life juice back. Empty. Thank you. All right. So, if there was someone, and I might be wrong, I mean, I haven't been talking about that, but if there is somebody who thought that we could use the, the liquid XP, um, at least in that form, it does not work. So. All right, let's go ahead and put this here, and we'll grab the stupid tank. Just put it there. Let it fill up. Okay. So we're kind of, like I said, we're 100% we're ready for this laser drill to kind of get its work going. So, because <clears throat> well, we're pretty much near the end of this episode, so this is a little bit frustrating. So what I'll have to do is just come on here and basically just let this thing grind out um, to get enough. And like I said, we've obviously killed a skeleton, a couple of zombies. So maybe I'll just like stand inside this house or maybe I need to be further away. I don't know, but we'll kind of work on that. But um, <clears throat> let's go ahead before we wrap this up. Let's kind of look at some of these uh, these lenses. Now, I want to check something real quick on the laser over here, in our little cage. This has one, two, three, four, five, six slots for these lenses, okay? So, um, let's kind of look and see how many there are. So, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, we'd have to kind of pick. So, uh... Let's see if we can see uses, if it'll tell us. Laser drill, like yellowroy, glowstone, nether gold, gold ore, sulfur. Okay, so this kind of tells us what we're going to get out of it. So 0.24% chance for yellowrite, pretty high end glowstone. And this is literally pulling out of nowhere, so... Um, so the, the, the white one would be salt, nether quartz, uh, aluminum, bauxite, saltpeter, nether, what is that? Nether saltpeter, yeah, and then the nether versions. Uh, iridium, okay. Maybe we won't, might want to get iridium. Uh, and then like orange, copper. See, it kind of makes sense, you know, copper and amber. They're orange. They're, they're orange colors. Are they? Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, what could magenta get? Okay, I don't understand. So maybe that one doesn't do anything. What about light blue? Diamonds. Yep, looks like mostly just, yeah, diamonds, shiny ore, green, uh, emeralds, which might actually be pretty handy, uranium. 
So I'll have to kind of look. See, that one doesn't do anything. The gray gets us steel, ooh, steel ore. Oh, I like that. Pig iron, I like that. Silver. This is kind of neat. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to kind of look through these to see, you know, which six we, we really want to try and get. That'll be lapis for sure. Lapis and... Oh, man, infused. Ooh, sapphire. That's pretty. Appetite. Brown gets us poop. Oh, I guess iron. That makes sense. To topaz. A topaz. All right, that one's not that great. Uh, redstone, that one's a cool one. Gives us redstone. Rubies. Uh, firestone. The tires? Cinnabar. And finally, the black one gives us coal. Just coal. So, um, I'll make some of these. I'll let this thing grind up. I'll probably hook the tanks back up and let it kind of fill up. And then, <clears throat> I swear on all that is pure, by every fiber of my... I think I just saw a mob die. Every fiber of my being, we will, come hell or high water, get this stupid drill up and going by next episode. Swearsies. Go into there. Go in there. Go in here. Make things happen. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Hit down and that. Hit down and that. There should be more than... I know it has to fill up those tubes first, but there should be more than enough. So, All right, guys. We're going to wrap things up there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure... You hit that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. And until the next just mind-bogglingly exciting episode of Infinity, like this one was, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!